How's it going guys? Uh, Brian here. Back again with another video. This time I'm on the webcam. I mean it's a shitty looking webcam, but still. That's not what we're here about. Um, I'm here to talk about this. As I move to the web browser. Um, Hatchtails has finally posted an update to its Kickstarter after a year and three three months now it seems and it seems they're taking their sweet time with these damn updates because god damn there is nothing in this update that's worth a damn we backed this kickstarter five years ago back in 2018 we were told it was going to be done within a couple years it's now 2023 Where's our Kickstarter? Where's our Where's our game, Jules? Where's Where's the Where's Where's Hatch Tales, or as it used to be known as Chicken Wiggle Workshop? Where is it? Uh, the only thing worth a damn is a uh, was a is a is a picture of the main menu. Wow, picture of the main menu, R really, really. Big disappointment. Everyone's disappointed um, from this. In this case, you're wondering, like, yeah, I did back this. I backed this eighty dollars back in 2018. They said they're gonna mail me a signed copy of the hundred plus page printed art book with concept sketches, sprites, levels, behind the scene material. It was also come with a backer credit, wallpaper images, game download code, digital soundtrack, digital art book, limited edition T-shirt. And something else. I don't know what else it was. Something else. And more. Backer credit, VIP. What was in this? Why didn't... Sign printed art book, limited edition t-shirt. Okay. Where's that at? You guys made $35,000. And we are five years into this and we still have nothing. Last update before the one that we got uh, yesterday was on May 16th, 2022. And then they had this interview a couple days ago with Game Explain. I'm going to play this for a little bit. While I had Jules on the line, we talked a bit about his upcoming game Hatch Tales, which was funded on Kickstarter in 2018 and has undergone significant delays, making many fans wonder when they'll get an update on the status of the title. Y yeah. <laughs> that's that's a big understatement. We we've uh we've been waiting getting drip fed these updates uh barely I think it's what was it? I, I said like the last update we had was 15 months ago. And then like that took two months and then. God damn. It took him a long time to get updates. Look at this. There's like there's one from the, the October 23rd, 2020, 2020. It goes all the way to November 10th, 2021, like well over a year for an update. Let's go back to the video. We're still working on that, wrapping that up. Really, really excited about that. It, it, I know a lot of people don't believe we're working on it, but we are, and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Jules, people don't believe you were working on it because you released like three games in between the promise that you would be releasing Hatch Tales. What was it? You released uh, Soccer Slammers, I believe. What was it? Uh, you released, you released like three games in between the promise that you were going to release, uh, um, Chicken Wiggle. You released Soccer Slammers. Oh, wow. Look at this. Soccer Slammers. You released, uh... Totes the Goat, Padachi, I believe Pictui released between that, and Run Box Run before you're even going to give us uh, Hatch Tales. I understand 
game development costs money. But still, you shouldn't release games in between that time when you're supposed to be working on Hatch Tales. It's ridiculous. Let's go back to the video. Um, it's that's what's tough about doing a Kickstarter or a publicly known project. Sure. Like we don't do that, right? right. We, we usually work on a game, and then we get when we get finished or close to finished, then we start letting people know about it. And I get it. You you need funding for the game, so you decided to go to Kickstarter and get funding from the fans of your previous games like Mutant Muds, Zeo Drifter, uh, the unreleased Treasure Knots that's still never going to come out. It's, I guarantee it's never going to come out. 3DS is dead. It was developed for 3DS. It's not coming out. But still, you, you could have at least worked on the game a little bit before going to Kickstarter for funding. This is what pissed a lot of people off because you strung them along for five years from 2018. We we, we, we sort of assumed the game was going to be done in a couple of years because it didn't really look like it was going to be that big of a deal. It was more going to be a port of the 3DS game, uh, Chicken Wiggle, on the 3DS. And then you guys just did a bunch of um, stuff like this. We're still waiting, man. Come on kind of drive up the, the PR kind of uh, push towards the release of the game. So the Kickstarter has been very challenging where, you know, we haven't done an update on that for a very long time. And people are really up. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you didn't do an update for that. We know we waited 15 months for that update. Say about that, understandably. Um... Uh, yeah, people are upset. You took their money. Uh, how else were we supposed to react? Were we supposed to be understanding that you 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 don't provide constant updates? We have to consistently uh, badger you on Twitter, and social media, and on Discord in order to try to get something out of you. And most of the time, you're just gonna ignore us because we're apparently uh, not worth uh, engaging with. But the other side of it to try and understand is mm -hmm. we. Uh, we're, we're game makers. Mm -hmm. We're not a PR company. We, we, our job isn't. We're not focused on how to entertain an audience while we're making a game. Jules, you don't need to entertain us. We just want constant communication between you, the developer, and us, the backers. That's all we need. We just want updates on the game, uh, progress screenshots of how levels are growing, how certain features of the game are going to work. Uh, if it's going to if you decide, hey, we're going to port this to more platforms than we originally intended. I know this is coming to the Nintendo Switch. We don't know if it's going to come to other stuff, though. Uh, be smart to bring it to other stuff because that would probably give you more money in order to fund other projects that you want to do. Like uh, possibly doing that canceled DS shooter that you guys were talking with the game explain about. But still, it, it, it's frustrating having to continuously ask for updates or, or badger you on Twitter just to get some sliver of information about the products that we paid for. Like sure. we've never done that. I don't think I ever want to do that. It's a very tricky challenge. It, it's also the regarding the PR thing. Um, if you guys don't want to do the PR, you the developers at Atui, I understand this costs money as well. But you should hire somebody whose specialty is PR. So we're not constantly asking, "Hey, where's the update to this game? Where's the update to?" Uh, to other stuff and everything. And also, if you're saying, like, you're making other games to fund Chicken Wiggle, be, be, be more transparent about that. I don't understand why that's so difficult for you to do. Because in between those times, you released Pictui, you released Soccer Slammers, you released uh, the, the, the Run Box Run, which you had us on the Discord help you uh, test that out. Still didn't get anything for that, uh, 
for helping you test out Run Box Run, even though you're gonna release you release that. I didn't get anything for that. Still, let's go back to the video. Continue watching. It sounds like like with any creative endeavor, you just run into creative hurdles that you don't know you're gonna run into until you run into. <laughs> yeah. Them. Okay. Not yeah. not absolutely not only. How did you not not know you're gonna run into people getting upset about? not getting updates that's the fatal flaw of this whole thing you should know people are going to get upset about not getting updates because they paid for that with their own hard-earned money that that's so baffling to me i don't understand how this is this works out for them that um but also we also want to make the best game we can even for how everyone, everyone is quite hard on us We're they're hard on you jules because you don't post any updates none of your team does we have as i said we have to constantly badger you just to get updates i don't see why that's so hard to understand we are just trying to get updates for chicken wiggle or Hatchdales or whatever you're calling it now. We just want updates. In that new update you gave us with the one single screenshot is just ridiculous. That's nothing. Look at this shit. Oh wow, a screenshot of a main menu. Like we haven't seen other screenshots of the main menu before. I bet there was. Let me go through all these. Bonus art. Oh, wow. There's that. That's barely anything. Sorry. Uh, shit. I know we had a... There was a there was a picture of the main menu and it had some other stuff. I don't get why they have to take so freaking long with this. It, it makes no sense. You've had five years to develop this game. I understand you probably want to make it the best product you have, but we've hardly seen anything of this product. You've given no videos of the game, no screenshots of levels, no screenshots of the cre of the making um the level editor. Hell, I think this game was supposed to come out before Mario Maker 2 came out. And when was that? Super Mario Maker 2. When did that release? I believe that was around 2019 or 2018. 2019. June 28, 2019 is when Super Mario Maker 2 was supposed to come out. Whoa, <laughs> you guys missed the mark on that by big time. We're more hard on ourselves as far as what we're trying to produce and, and we really overthink and, and and exhaust all of the ideas of what we think is a good and a bad idea. Uh, as people will definitely see when we do release the information on what Hatchtails is today, yeah. uh, I think people will be like, oh, oh, I guess that's what they've been working on. I'm guessing this is the same day. I w I'm not sure if this was the same day that they released uh, the, the Kickstarter update. I'm Is it? August 3rd? Nope. They released it the day later. We still don't know what Tatch Tales, what they were doing. That's This update is nothing. This is nothing. They gave us a screenshot of a menu. This is nothing. Jules, we still don't know what the game is. What the fuck, man? Come on. <sighs> This is so frustrating. Okay, cool. Cool. So, and that's why we've been quiet for quite a while. So I think once we do come out, I know lots of people are very upset and... Okay, this is just a theory, but I don't think any of these screenshots that they've released of Chicken Wiggle or Hatch Tales or whatever are real. And that's why they've been so quiet about this game because how do you spend five years working on this game as a studio I mean, I get it. They're independent, so it probably takes a while. But still, five years on this game, when it, when it's essentially just it's just a glorified port of a 3DS game. How do you spend five years and have nothing to show of it? 
besides a couple screenshots of a menu. That's ridiculous. And that's unfortunate, but we are, our heart is in the right place. Yeah. We are doing the right thing. We're not stealing anyone's money and going, ha ha ha, I'm going to use it going like this over there, which some people have claimed we're, we're doing. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> then where did the money go, Jules? Where did the money go? Where did that all go? Are you sure it didn't go into the development of Pictui, Soccer Slammers, Runbox Run, all those other games you released during the in-between of the end of the Kickstarter and now? Where did that $35,000 go? That $35,000 is supposed to go to the Kickstarter. It's supposed to go to Kickstarter rewards, the the printed art books that you said were going to be signed, the t-shirt for the game. I don't even know if we're going to get any of those. They've given zero updates on both of those. I, I'm losing a lot of faith. I've lost a lot of faith over the time that I'm hearing more and more updates about this game. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Relax, everyone. Relax. Yeah, the game's going to come out, and it's going to be great. Um, and everyone's going to get exactly what they think they're going to get, and then some. Awesome. So it's going um, to be sweet. As we wrap up this video, I want to thank Jules. I, I don't think we're going to get as good of a game as they're saying we're going to get. I don't think it's going to be as good as they think it is. I don't think the, the, the level editor is going to be as robust as they think as they claim it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be as amazing and mind-blowing and more than uh, what they say it is. Uh, I think the only thing that really has it going for them is the, is the, is the kid from Mutant Muds being in the game. Like, seriously, we've... <sighs> This thing got funded back in 2018. We still have not heard anything. We're waiting and waiting and waiting. And I don't think we're going to ever get it. Supposed to have the t-shirt. Supposed to have an art book. It's still not here. Where is it, Jules? Where is our stuff for the Kickstarter, or is our proper updates with videos of the game running on the Switch? Where's that? Where's anything that we're supposed to have? It's not here. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it in the update that you just gave us uh, recently. You only gave us one picture of a menu. Where is it, Jules? Where's what's my money going towards? Did you spend it on their stuff? Where is it? Where's the fucking game?